Although we have evidence of early equine ancestors throughout North America, no horse had stepped foot on this continent in more than 10,000 years before the Spanish explorers brought them from Europe in the 16th century. Those early horses eventually migrated north and became a part of the wild Mustang herds that we know of today in the Western United States. Traveling with horses even today can be a really difficult task. But imagine that you were one of the early explorers and you had to bring as many horses as you could across the Atlantic Ocean on a ship. In order to get these horses onto the ship, you can see that this one has that sling under his belly and he's being hoisted into the air by a system of pulleys. So once they're placed onto that ship, they're going to be put below decks into these makeshift stalls where they're still going to be slung up that entire trip across the ocean. You can see that his feet are not touching the ground and he still has that sling helping him. Now I want you guys to think about this for a little bit. If you are on a ship and you're not using your legs for three months, what do you think is gonna happen with your legs? Are you gonna be able to just run off of a ship and be able to use your legs like nothing's happened? No, the same thing with these horses. Their muscles are gonna be weak. They need to get them going again. So what they're gonna do, they're gonna bring them, lift them back up into the air with those pulleys with that sling still under their belly. They're gonna blindfold the horses and then lower them back down into the water where they're gonna to swim to shore being led by men in rowboats. And when those horses stepped foot onto North America in 1516, that was the very first time that horses stepped foot on this land in 10,000 years. If you guys have any questions or comments, please let us know below.